Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to start a brand new short-lived series that I'm going to call What Did I Get My Wife For Christmas? This may be a multi-part series because there's actually a present from last year I'd like to make a video about and never got the chance to. But anyway, to get started with, I've been thinking about purchasing one of these for a little while. You can obviously tell what it is from the title and description and everything down below. And I was not aware until just a couple of days ago that it's smart. It's actually kind of tech related, so I'm okay with this. So today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Opal Nugget Ice maker. There's your smartness right there. You can see it has Bluetooth, there's a Google Play app, and an Apple App Store app. So let's dive into it. After my recent little escapade with a knife, I decided to go ahead and remove all the packaging, only to find that all that this really has holding it together are a couple of straps that I took off. And just taking a look at the front of the box, in case you're not familiar with this, this is an ice maker. It makes nugget ice, though, instead of traditional ice cubes or anything else like that. This is the kind of ice you'd find if you went to, like, a Sonic restaurant or any of the older Burger Shack-style places. Places, but some of the stuff it has listed here on the front. Portability design. It's a compact countertop design. You can plug it into any electrical outlet. Produces the first nugget in just 15 minutes. One pound of ice per hour. Holds up to two and a half quarts of ice. And you can control it using your phone. You can turn it on and off, tell it to make ice. We'll see what it can do in just a minute. The other really cool thing about this, and I was not aware of it, the company that makes this first build is actually located in Louisville, Kentucky. So I might just reach out to them and see if I can come by and see their, their works and their operation and everything, because it might be cool to see that. But anyway, let's open this box. So here on the top, I'm not sure. This looks to be some kind of a tray. You've got all your documentation on top as well, which shows you everything that's included in the box. The ice maker, the ice bin, the ice scoop, a quick start guide that I'm holding, and that was a drip tray that we looked at earlier. So presumably this is the rest of it. And let me just go ahead and mention, this thing is actually decently heavy. And in case you're curious about the warranty, because this is a brand I've never purchased from before, they say they offer a one-year warranty from the date of receipt. Obviously it doesn't cover abuse or accidents or anything like that. And there's information down here about how you file a warranty claim. And there's your specs if you'd like to pause and take a look at all that. But it says the weight, while empty, is 44 pounds. So the angle I'm coming at this from, it's, it's kind of heavy. And of course there's tape here on the sides, which is pretty firmly stuck on there, leaving a residue. So I'm going to come back and clean that later. And some tape on the front holding everything in place. So here is the Opal Nugget Ice Maker. This looks like a button on the front, but it doesn't appear to be touchable. Maybe it's capacitive. Here's the ice tray. Not a ridiculously large tray by any stretch, but it does say two and a half quarts, so it's not going to hold a huge amount. You got this adorable little ice scoop covered in tape that doesn't want to come off with a sticky tape residue left on it, and a little quick start guide to get you going. Very important. It does say to clean the ice bin water reservoir before getting started. Warm soapy water, fill the reservoir, and then return the ice bin. Touch the button to turn it on. So this is a capacitive touch button. It just doesn't have a press to it. It also says while it's powering on, turn the mode switch to cleaning. So you're going to start this out first by cleaning it. You drain the water out of it. You unhook all the tubes and everything. Replace the drain plugs, clip everything back in, and turn it over to ice. Then you get to make some ice. So let me go ahead and get this started. I'll put it in the kitchen someplace. See if we can't make some ice. All right, a little move around. Got it plugged in. Gonna fill it up with water. Just wash the ice pan in soapy water. But it does very clearly say do not get soapy water inside of the machine. So this is just gonna be straight water going in. So I'm first gonna wipe this down with a wet sponge and then put the water in there. All right, wiped it down. Pouring some water through. All right, I think I hit the max fill line. Touch the button to turn it on. It says it will flash green while powering on. Actually, I think I've already skipped ahead. I went ahead and flipped the switch in the back to cleaning and it shows the bright, dim, bright. And it says as opal rinses, a yellow light will spin. You'll hear water circulating. So apparently it is circulating now. In a few minutes, it'll stop running. The yellow light will stop spinning and start pulsing. One portion will look brighter. And it says drain the water by unhooking the tubes and placing them in a sink or bucket. So we'll be back in a few minutes. And while we're waiting, I went ahead and downloaded the First Build app. If I go ahead and open that up, you can see their feed, all the updates and everything they're putting out. But then there's also a products button here at the bottom. Why this app wouldn't go directly to the products or whatever product you've picked, I don't really know. But inside of there, there's a pair new product button. You pick what it is. They've got two products apparently that this works with. The Opal Nugget Ice Maker is what I've got. Now it says searching for it, connecting to it, pairing over Bluetooth. This is quick. Got it, found your opal. So we are connected. It says we can give it a name. I'm just gonna leave it alone there. And there's my products, my opal. So here's the status, it's currently cleaning. There's the nightlight option, there's schedule enabled, and the schedule itself, you can tell it when you want it to make ice. Up here in the corner, again, you've got options about my products, help, feedback. 
I think the feedback I would have is just that it should come directly to your first product or whatever your products you've got. And coming back to the paperwork here, it says, in a few minutes the water will stop running, the yellow light will stop spinning and begin to pulse. One portion of the ring will look brighter. And it looks like this little piece right here is brighter. So I guess at this point we go ahead and drain the water. It says just to take those tubes off and put them into the sink. That's why I specifically put it right here. It'll probably be back against the wall when it's all said and done. We go ahead and try to drain it. So here's the tubes. Not quite close enough to the sink. There we go. Now in the sink and we are draining. There you go. Now you can see the water is draining out of the pipes. And that's just a waiting game to see how long this takes. Now that it has sufficiently drained, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in and put it back onto the back. And next up we're going to make some ice. It says turn the switch back to ice, fill the water reservoir, and it'll begin to make ice in about 15 minutes. So flip the switch. All right, I think we are ready to go. Filled the water up as much as it said it needed to be. It's flipped back over to ice in the back. Hit the button here, so it's making a lot of noise. Makes me think it is actually making ice at this point. It is 4.27 p.m., so hopefully right around 4.40 p.m. we should see some ice. And it did say it'll make one pound of ice per hour, so by about 5.30 we should have a pound of ice in there. Just in time for dinner. Now I've made it back. It's about 5.15. We have ice. Merry early Christmas. Yeah. She can't wait for it to be done. She's more excited than she was letting on earlier. Is it very ice testicle? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't like it. He tried a piece and spit it right back out. It's just the best. If only we had had this when I was pregnant with him, that would have been wonderful. Yeah. Because he needed ice. Are you dabbing? No. Well, that's about as much as I got out of it. I didn't fill the water up enough apparently, so it's maybe two thirds of the way full. But you know, I haven't tried one of these nuggets for myself yet, so let's see what they're like. It tastes like ice, but it's a little bit more pleasing, and I think that's the entire reason why you do it. And it's been a couple of weeks since I purchased this. We've been using it quite frequently, and I thought I would give you a little bit of an update on it. Just as a start, here's the difference between the ice cubes from our normal refrigerator, gigantic, hard as a rock, good for drinks, but that's about it, and then the nuggets that come out of the Opal Nugget Ice Maker. As you can see, I've got several of them here, and they're a lot smaller, but they melt very quickly, meaning they're kind of okay for drinks. They're actually really good for mixed drinks, for cocktails and things like that, and they're good for just sort of munching on. So I guess the overarching question is, is this worth it to me? For me and for my family, yes, we use this pretty much every day. Is it worth $500? That's gonna be a little bit more up in the air. If you're looking to pick up something that will make these little nugget ice chips, this is probably the cheapest thing you can get that will do it. And the fact that it does have the smarts built into it is really nice. We just don't ever use the smart features. Turning the lights on and off from a distance and telling it when to make ice. We just don't do that because it doesn't have a water line attached to it, so you have to manually fill up the reservoir anytime you want to make more ice. I mean, technically you could have it turned off and filled up and ready to go and then tell it to make ice for a certain time because if you couldn't tell, this thing is definitely kind of loud. I mean, I'll stop here for a second just so you can hear it. And when it's on, when it's making ice, when it's just keeping that ice cool after it's done, this is what it sounds like all the time. So basically I would say if you're going to pick up one of these things, put it in a place where you're not going to hear this sound, where you're not going to mind it. You're also supposed to have it several feet away from things on the sides and above, so we've probably got this placed wrong. I'm very happy that we've picked this up. My family's very happy that we have one of these now, but I don't know if I can recommend it, just because it is kind of high priced for what you do get out of it. But I'll put a link to the first build site where you can pick one of these up. I think they may also have them on Amazon, so I'll link to that down below as well. I'll probably also link to my Amazon influence page and if it's still available there I'll have it listed there as well but on that Amazon influencer page you can find all the equipment that I use to do my filming with products that I recommend so make sure to check that out as well but that's gonna wrap this video up for today so thank you guys as always for watching hit the thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to receive more when they become available I'll see you again next time